Good, we got Bayless Jones here. Please raise your hand and we'll call on you. We'll start with Trey Wallet. Hey, Bayless, last two games you've had touchdowns here tonight. You had the uh, over-the-shoulder catch in the end zone from JT, and then you had the kind of the bump and run type deal uh, that turned into a 76-yard touchdown. Kind of walk me both through those plays tonight and, and what that meant for you. Um, yeah, so first touchdown, you know, I was pressed up, so, you know, I converted it into a fade ball. And, you know, I, I kind of knew what um, JT mindset was. I knew he was going to hit me on it. So, you know, I had to get out um, a fast release off the line, and I had to stack them fast as possible. And when I see in the air, I just, like, plucked it out. But um, when I was landing, I knew you. I was nearby out of bounds, so I had to get my toes down and also hit the ball across the pile line. Then um, second touchdown, um, you know, on the dig routes, um, it was kind of sitting on them all night. And so, you know, I came in and I, you know, I had a um, possession catch it uh, with my body, you know, to brace myself for the impact, um, which, you know, they try to hit me hard. And, you know, I spun out of it. And after that, that was history. We'll go to Austin Price and David Pascal. Bayless, you really broke out the last couple of weeks. What, can you explain it? I mean, is this just, you know, being now eight and nine games in, or is this change of quarterback, or is this what, – what is it? I mean, because, I mean, it's been it, – it, it, you've had such a much bigger impact the last two games. Um, I can say that, you know, it's, um, you know, been my mindset, you know, to um, just give everything I have and do what I can do with the opportunities. Um, I feel like I've been given more opportunities, and, you know, me and my dad have our – late night conversations and stuff, you know, just like every time a ball come your way, you must like, you must make the most out of your, you know, make the most out of um, what you can get. And so, you know, I just been, you know, stressing to myself, like I've been trying to get back to my old ways, the receiver I know I can be. Um, it came out of Sarah Land High School, you know, that made many plays before, you know, um, I got the college, you know, I haven't felt this way in a long time. You know, I feel like, I'm back in my high school ways, just going out there, having fun, you know, making plays and, you know, getting the opportunity to make those plays as well. Um, this is nothing new. It's not surprising to me. You know, I've been have this in me. You know, I just need the opportunities. Bayless, how aware of you are uh, of who the quarterback is? I mean, you've caught your share of passes these last two weeks from Harrison and JT. How aware are you of who the quarterback is and do they throw a different ball? They both throw catchable balls. They're both good quarterbacks, um, both situational masters, um, both great guys. It doesn't matter who is, you know, they throw the ball and, you know, throw the ball. And, you know, I just got to go make the play. We'll go Rob Lewis, then Wes Rucker. You know, just what kind of improvement did you see from Harrison today? Did you feel like he benefited from getting that first start under his belt? And did you tell that today that he was more comfortable? Most definitely, he was um, laid back out there. He had a great game. Um, you know, not much really changed. I feel like um, when he got his opportunities, he was the same guy. You know, he just got in and, um, you know, did his job and um, had a great game. And I was happy to get that um, touchdown catch for him. Bayless, how much of the past few years kind of tested your patience? I know you, you talked about wanting to come back and, and be the guy that you felt like you were in high school. And, you know, usually when a guy transfers, he transfers for a reason. You're looking for a different situation. And then it took a while to kind of catch on here, too. How, how much has your patience been tested? And how much belief have you had to keep in yourself? Um, I'm a big believer in Christ, you know. Um, and I feel like, you know, those who, um, those who, la um, those are who last should finish first. And, you know, it's, it's all patience. And um, blessings come with patience and, you know, hard work. You know, me just, you know, praying. Praying, you know, God, my goods, my ups and downs and stuff, you know, just me being a believer. It's like, you know, I just got to take it one day at a time. And I knew what I can do. And I know if um, I kept believing, me, um, believing in Christ and leaning on him, you know, my opportunity will come. And I feel like I'm getting the opportunity. And, you know, it just, it's just it's, it feels like a relief. It's a, um, it's a great feeling. You know, um, patience. Yeah, my patience has been tested and stuff my whole college career. And I just feel like, um, man, it's a relief. I've been so, I've been working so hard, you know, to get this opportunity. And, you know, um, patience is key. So, you know, just sticking with God. David Elvin and Jimmy Himes. Uh, Bayless, how would you assess uh, JT's night? <laughs> JT had a great game. You know, um, 
always putting the balls where I can grab them. And, you know, I got to also give my lineman, my lineman a shout out. You know, without them holding up and stuff, I'm not able to make these plays and stuff. So, you know, JT had a great night. Um, I've seen a lot of leadership um, in him, you know, getting the guys up and stuff and telling them, let's go. A lot of pep in his step. So, you know, I'm proud of him. Really proud of him and Harrison, both of the quarterbacks. This, uh, last year, Eric Gray ran for 246 yards. And the thought was Tennessee would probably run a lot more against Vanderbilt, but you threw quite a bit. Was that the game plan to uh, to have the quarterbacks throw quite a bit? Um, the game plan, you know, was um, to move the ball, you know, put points on the board. And I feel like that's what we struggled in the past weeks. You know, just finding ways, you know, to score, you know, just finding a way. And I felt like we did that um, in more. Um, I feel like, you know, we got our rhythm back. And um, I like the direction we're heading in. And speaking of, of rhythm, I don't know if you realize this, I think Bailey hit his first 13 passes. Did you realize that he was uh, that accurate during the yeah. game? Um, yes. Um, when I got here, um, when, uh, when he early enrolled and stuff like that, you know, just catching catching with him in the indoor and stuff like that, he was an accurate kid um, uh, first day I met him. And, and nothing surprised me uh, with my quarterback and their abilities. Nothing surprised him, you know. This is what we've been working for. You know, we was able to put it on this way. Two more questions, Gustavo, then Trey Waller. Uh, Velas, has been a tough year for the quarterbacks, and tonight you caught passes from two quarterbacks. How do you see your role in making the offensive better and give more confidence to the quarterbacks? Um, I see my role as, um, you know, being a veteran because I am a veteran. I'm a grad transfer. And, you know, just, you know, um, talk to each quarterback and let them know I got their back. You know, just put the ball where I can grab and the rest to take care of itself. You know, it's their job to give me the ball. It's my job to catch it and um, get yours after catch. So, you know, I just let them know, like, I got them. Like, I believe in them. You know, they believe in me. And that's really, like, really all you can ask for. Um, all you can ask for. How's the environment in the locker room after this win? You guys haven't won a game in two months, and I bet it was a special moment. Man, you know, I just feel like um, that weight was off of everybody's shoulders and stuff, you know. You're seeing a lot of smiles and stuff because, you know, nobody likes losing. And, you know, it happens. Like, anybody can lose any, um, any given Saturday. So it's just, you know, good to, you know, see everybody smiling again and stuff. But the job is, um, the job is not finished yet. We have a game next week. So that's what we're going to focus on, you know. But, well, you should celebrate our wins. Trey? They list uh, games like you've had the last two, but actually, you know, being able to get those receptions and, and different quarterbacks as well. Does that kind of give you some intrigue towards next year? I know you're thinking about Texas A&M, but in the long run, does that kind of intrigue you to see, okay, what can the future look like with me involved with one of these guys? Um, you know, I feel like um, we have the opportunity, especially not only me, but my receiver core around us. And the QBs we have, we have the opportunity to be a really explosive, dangerous offense. And, you know, um, and I can see that um, in the future. You know, we just have to keep working, and, you know, keep working our butts off, and, you know, and trusting, trusting each other. And I think the quarterbacks are trusting me. I trust them. They trust me. It's all, you know, trust. So as long as we got trust in each other, we got each other back since I don't know. All right. Thank you all very much. That is it for this evening. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate